I got another unpacking video for you. This one is from Paul Stokes. I will have S T O K E S. I will have information in the show notes for contacts stuff so you can get things for yourself if you would like. But this is some things that I say to order and check out. I am doing well I did it already. I can't remember. I'm terrible with this. All I can ever think of is Kickstarter when I talk about these things, but he did a one of his new comics on some type of platform like that that I backed. He had another one that I thought about getting into, but it's uh, about animals that were tested on that are getting their revenge, which is always interesting. Letting the animals get their payback. But uh, I just, I can't... And seeing animals that have been tortured, even if they aren't being tortured, so I usually don't get in those. But he did a different one that I did end up backing. Um, looking forward to seeing. I can't give you the information right now, but I will give you the information once I get the stuff. I'll do it unpacking for that. But I don't have all the information in front of me right now, so I'm not going to try and say the name and be wrong and stuff like that. But he has some original art that I decided to check out, pick some up, and as, as he was working on some things for me. He put some other stuff out that caught my eye. And of course get some of that also. People like using this painter's tape. works out good because it doesn't damage stuff when it sticks to it. Yeah. We're getting there. Okay. I assume these things are probably all the same. Probably has the information on it. I don't have my glasses, so I'm like half blind. Certificate of Authenticity from Wolf Peach Production. Signed by Sammy Stoltz. That's cool, and it has the information on there and stuff like that. That's what those cards are for. Better just leave that right inside there. I like that. That's a nice idea to have little COA cards that you can just put in there. <laughs> uh, I got a shirtless bear fighter 2. Volume 2. Number 1. Cover. It's a bear head on it, and it's got like a DNA strand, kind of sh in the shape of a shark. But yeah, that's cool. The shirtless bear fighter commission, and these are all comic book blank comic book covers that I. Got the artwork done on. 
this is one that just before he shipped my stuff out, he posted it, and I'm like, well, how much for that one? I got to have it. I need to, the vamp averse presents the vamp comic, which I actually, I collected the vamp averse run, but I don't think I got the vamp. So that was, this is a little double bonus because now I can read and review this comic since I'm almost positive I didn't have the vamp. That must have been a one shot that they, they did for that run. Really nice since I know the rest of the run, but yeah. Oh, Vampirella holding the bat by its legs. Uh, here's a sticker. Company sticker, Wolf Peach Productions, that you can look up. And we got Evil Ernie. Smiley. Smiley the button. Evil Ernie's little sidekick. That's awesome. Chaos Comics. I love Smiley. And this run has been wonderful. It's the main spawn run that I've been sticking with. And I stuck with the original spawn run, but I kind of dropped off a of Scorched and King Spawn and all the side runs for now. I figured I'll go back to them eventually, but... I stuck with Gunslinger, and I'm going to finish that one out, no matter how far it goes. But I love that cover. Nice little Gunslinger artwork. That character has been a lot of fun in this newest run. And then I got me a Elvira in Horrorland, and I asked for an Elvira commission on this one she's got skulls in her eyes i like that Lyra in horrorland commission that was awesome so yeah this is definitely check out his stuff at wolf peach productions paul stokes I will have all the information in the show notes, like I said. So check that out. Go on his website, go on his Instagram, or wherever I send you. And you can sit there and get your own commissions or buy something that he does. I have a good variety of things that he just had listed for sale recently. So you can check those out. Yeah. That, that was fun. It's a, another new artist that I'm, I've been picking stuff up from. This is my first purchase outside of his Kickstarter or whatever it was. <laughs> uh, I think it was Kickstarter. But I will have the information for you in the show notes. So check it out. Follow his stuff. See if you can find something that catches your eye that you can pick up. Or request something they have made that you want done for yourself. Definitely having a lot of fun with all the artists lately and picking up commissions. and. It's a good time to do it. And I never even would have thought about it until COVID times hit. And, and we got lots of artists stuck at home. That's how I got going on this. So do that. Check it out. Keep following under the call of MS. Subscribe if you can. So we can maybe get to a point where we can get some backing. And, uh, we will keep putting stuff out there there for you to check out. So hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully you'll come back. 
and we'll be doing things when we can. Just keep an eye out for them. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.